Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is the Cartoon Collector guys and today I have a very special episode for you guys. I'm going to tell you the most valuable cartoon in the world. So let's go. Alright guys, the most valuable cartoon in the world. You probably think, ah, I know it, that's probably Dragon Ball Z or Pokemon. Wrong. The most valuable cartoon in the world, if we look at uh, prices of the merchandise, so like the toys you can buy, the comic books and so on, is actually a cartoon from France and a little bit of Belgium and a little bit of the Netherlands. The most valuable cartoon in the world is The Adventures of Tintin. Um, I will tell you exactly why and why this cartoon is so extremely expensive and, so, uh, and why it has such a big fan base actually. The Adventures of Tintin was originally a comic book uh, written by Hergé. Hergé is a, 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 a guy from France and uh, he died in 1983 and in total he made 23 comics about Tintin. Tintin is translated in 40 languages, 40 languages. And besides the TV series, you also had uh, real movies uh, with Tintin. And actually not a lot of people know this. This is like 70s. And besides this one, you also have, of course, the Steven Spielberg animated film from a few years ago. To be honest, this one is much better than the Steven Spielberg one. Why? You should check out The Adventures of Tintin and you know exactly why. The reason is actually pretty simple. It comes really close to how the comics are. It is uh, French, French language, but you know, you can uh, get the, the subtitles and so on, no problem. And um, yeah, awesome. The funny thing is that those two movies are never, uh, never released in the TV series, the cartoon TV series. So these are two separate movies. Besides the TV episodes that are like 30 to 40 minutes each, you also have one cartoon movie. Uh, inside and that is called in Dutch Kuifje and het Heijemeer or uh, let's say Tintin and the Shark River or something like that. Um, the Adventures of Tintin tells the story about Tintin. He's a reporter with his dog Bobby. Um, in the United States they call him Snowy if I'm correct. And with his best friend Captain Haddock. And Captain Haddock is like uh, an old captain who drinks a lot of whiskey <coughs> and vodka and is a really, really funny guy and really clumsy and, you know, it's <clears throat> it's actually a fantastic series. Tintin cannot live without Haddock and Haddock cannot live without Tintin. Besides Haddock, he also has a professor as a friend and the opera singer Bianca Castafiore. Um, yeah, the series, what can I say? It, 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 is, it is so well made. I think the reason why it's so popular is because it can be the boy next door. It can be somebody from your own town, you know. It, it comes really close to reality with a little uh, humoristic twist. And besides that, um, they also, Hergé was able to, to show people things that are really wrong in the world, like the slavery in Africa. There is one uh, episode where he's going to, to Africa. Um, so yeah, um, awesome set. But still, you want to know why is this so expensive, right? I will show you some examples. Dragon Ball Z, for example, the, the most valuable item you can get is the sealed DVD set, which is around 50 to 100 thousand dollars. The most valuable item that you can buy of Tintin costs more than 1 million euros. Uh, I will show you here. It's actually sold a few weeks ago. It's two pages of the comic book of Tintin, 1 million euros. Besides that, let's show you some other examples. As you can see right now, you see down here uh, an eBay auction that is going on right now where they are selling Le Adventures de Tintin, which is actually called The Adventures of Tintin in Congo. That is the episode what I'm talking about with the slavery. 50,000 euros and it's yours. Now you're probably saying, yeah, but there are only comics. You know, what else? I'll show you another example. Here you will see a car with a figurine asking price 3000 euros the reason why these items are so goddamn expensive is because they're extremely limited like the cars and the figurines are only like 50 pieces or 100 pieces worldwide 
with certificates and, and so on and so on. You can buy them on the Dutch Craigslist, which is markplaats.nl or eBay. And you can also find them in the official Tintin store in Brussels. Uh, the official Tintin store is actually run by the family of Hergé. Uh, he made Tintin, of course. So yeah, Tintin is, the fan base is huge, actually uh, really huge in Europe, not so big in the United States, but god damn, this cartoon is expensive. The box, if you are interested, you can buy for like 40, 50 euros. Um, it's kind of beat up because this is kind of old, but uh, yeah, this is an awesome set that you should have. If you like good cartoons, you know, this is a classic one. Everybody should buy this. I hope you like this short uh, video about the most valuable cartoon in the world. Please like it if you want, and please uh, leave a reply if you ever saw Tintin and what you think about Tintin. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.